This year's King George promises to be an absolute thriller of a race. John Gosling's got a strong hand with two representatives. But we'll start with the noble, who's just looks sensational so far, hasn't she? Yeah, she's a lovely filly. She's uh, obviously she's had one run as a two-year-old, but she's developed well as going up since went to mile and a quarter onto mile and a half, which she's bred well to do. Nathaniel out of the saddle's met. But uh, she's, she's improved all the way through. We ran a great race at uh, Chester, the Cheshire Oaks, and uh, quickened well there on good to firm ground. Then obviously in that amazing uh, thunderstorm uh, at Epsom, crashes of lightning and everything. Um, it was an extraordinary race for the drama of that. It was like a Hollywood film. And uh, coming out of the lightning, then into the storm, having left actually where there was no rain at the mile and a half start, then into that very black cloud and huge raindrops. And, Jockey and she came back. Uh, this is not her, this is Johnny Barnes, um, uh, who runs on Saturday in Ascot. Um, very much, uh, you know, strong race, and you know, he's a good filly, rhododendron in the second. There's a great stretch run, as they say, in America between a pair of them. And, uh, you know, she, she, she came out on top and then improved enough to come through to towards uh, the Irish Oaks, where I, I, she. she Travelled well, quickened well. She was and, sensational. Yeah, she did it well. Obviously, she's only raced against Phillies, so we're under no illusion. We're now taking on older horses, taking on colts, but she's a lovely filly and uh, took a, took a race very well. But before the Derby and the Oaks, you sort of flagged up. You thought the Phillies might always, in fact, be stronger, and how right you were on reflection. Yeah, the Phillies. It's interesting, isn't it? You think of the last two years or three years. You think of the gorgeously bred colts, the, 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 the Valley Doyle, and one year it's found, mm. a filly comes out the best, and the following year, minding comes out the best. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? It's all girl power, really. <laughs> F women's lib, but uh, certainly it is a nice filly. Look, we're, but we're we're very aware this may be a step too soon, step too early for her. But she's in tremendous form. She took Ireland well, and. And uh, Mr. Abdullah is very sporting. I think he always was slightly looking at the race because we talked about it after the English Oaks. And I thought it'd be nice to win the Irish, but she took it well. She flew there and back, so it wasn't like she had a long journey through Hollyhead and getting on ferries into Dublin. So from that point of view, it, uh, it, it, you know, I think it's been a nice preparation for her and you'd have to be doing a lot of work with them at home anyhow. And she certainly warrants her place yeah. at the top of the market. Yeah.